just finished the last run of the week. Um, week 12 done. I uh, had a pretty successful week, so super happy about it. It's March 30th, so today is my last run of the month. And I'm super excited to pull out my stats and kind of see how I did um, in comparison to January and February. So about to go do that and we'll go check it out. Um, it was a great week of training. Got a lot of good miles in, some good training in. Um, to drive off the bat on Monday, I did my speed workout. Um, I just did a mile warm up on the treadmill. Then I did four miles worth of various speed workouts. I did a little bit of a fart like run for about two miles. Did a miles worth of speed intervals, just alternating back and forth between a jogging and a sprint pace. And then my last mile, I did what I called the pyramid mile where I'll build up my speed um, every 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 miles up to my uh, peak speed I can go and then I slowly bring it back down. Um, so that took me to four miles worth of speed workout and then I just did a cool down mile. Um, now that my workouts are getting longer, I kind of like mixing up um, the speed workout and not just doing one particular thing, um, especially because that can get kind of dull and boring. It's nice to kind of change it up, especially when you got to get a lot of miles of speed training in. Um, so we did that on Monday. On Tuesday, I did my 16 mile long run, did a totally new route. You can go watch my video about it. Wednesday, just did a two mile recovery run with some lower body weights. Um, and then Thursday, did a complete rest day. Friday, did um, an easy four miles on the treadmill. And then Saturday, wrapped up the week with an eight mile uh, workout, which the first half was just easy miles. And the second half was kind of going tempo race speed. Um, so that brought me to a total of around 36 miles this week. Again, an all time high, not by much, but I'm glad that we're seeing the numbers in the upward direction. Just a few thoughts I have from this week. First off, I wanted to update how I feel in my new Asics Super Blast. Um, I'm still kind of roughly in the same position I was last week. Um, I wore my Super Blast for a variety of workouts this week, including my speed workouts and most of my recovery runs and tempo runs and stuff. Um, and my number one complaint still is my feet are still kind of hurting, especially the first two miles of the run. Then I'll notice that it'll kind of go out of that. Um, the other thing I noticed, it's a lot easier to run faster in those shoes. So I kind of made the mistake this week of wearing those shoes on easy and recovery runs, and I was going way too faster than I should have. Um, because I just feel more comfortable running faster in those shoes. So I either need to figure out if I can slow down in those shoes or I just need to not wear those shoes for those easy runs to keep them slower because honestly I did not go the pace I should have for those runs. If there's anyone out there with Super Blast who can tell me how long it took them to break them in um, and if that if it's maybe just me um, please let me know because I really would like to get past the point where um, those Super Blast aren't killing my feet the first couple miles. So anybody out there want to give me a tip I'd love to hear. Also, with it being March 30th, um, I was able to accumulate all my miles for the month and kind of evaluate where I was at during the month of March compared to January and February. Um, one thing I do want to say is between the three months, I have ran over 360 miles, which I'm super proud of. That far exceeds any amount of mileage I've ever been able to do before in just a three month time frame. Um, but the other thing I really appreciated was seeing the mileage buildup I've had in just three months. So in January, I ran 100 miles. February, I ran just under 120. And then in March, I ran just over 140. Um, so I've been able to get a 20 mile increase on average with each month. And this was super helpful for me to see because lately I've been kind of down on myself for not being able to increase my mileage as much as I can. Um, and sometimes it's very difficult to see that progress that you're making on a week by week basis because it is so minimal. But when you see it by a month by month, um, it's made it a lot more clear to me that I am making that progress, um, even if it's just a little bit. The last thought I had, I had to say, um, honestly, I killed it in nutrition the first half of the week, and then my second half of the week, I was working at track and field meet all day Thursday and Friday. I had to work a baseball game. Um, so I was kind of gone all day, and working all day is super tough in marathon training because it's always hard to bring like proper nutritious meals and snacks with you, especially when you're on the go, especially in the line of work I am. It's not like you can be eating some healthy meal while you're like taking care of athletes. Uh, so on like Thursday and Friday, I had like a donut, had a couple cookies, um, just lots of like snacky foods. And it ended up biting me in the butt on Saturday. I did not run as good as I could have because I wasn't feeling so good nutrition wise. Um, and it's always a good reminder. Um, the thing about like junk food, it's not even like I don't want to eat it because it's going to make me gain weight or get fat or whatever. It, like the older I get, the more I I realize the reason I can't overdo it on the junk food is because I genuinely just don't feel good after and I don't run as good as I could have if I just ate healthy. So it's always just a good reminder in those, in those circumstances um, and a good motivation for me to do better about uh, just eating healthy choices, um, trying to get some good snacks in the mix. That's all I have for you. So go keep getting your runs in, keep feeling properly, keep doing good. Um, also, please enjoy this wonderful Easter weekend. It's one of my favorite holidays. Um, just love the fact that it's in the springtime, time to be with family. So like I said, um, keep training and I'll catch you guys next time.